Well beaten on Thursday by a seven point margin, the second ever biggest victory between these two sides. Topping this Euro Cup group. Out of reach realistically for Germany. Denmark still very much is clambering above Sweden in mind. There's Drux back from Nor. Drux going down, gets the free throw. There's Nor. Back from Gola. Now Drux with a bit of space. Nor looking to cut in, but collided straight with uh, Kirkalocker. And then seven metre throw the decision. Germany missed three from six on Thursday from the uh, seven metre line. But no mistake this time. Yuri Noor puts it away. And Germany lead by a goal to nil. And there's Lassen. On to Gidsell. Lassen again. Back from Gidsell. First attack for Denmark. Gidsell still in space. Steps towards the line, but forced away by Goller. And through the legs of the goalkeeper. And Denmark level it up. And Germany at the other end. Get the decision. And determined play. And a good finish through the legs. Goller over this. Germany look to uh, restore the leads. There's Noor. Now Drux. Noor again seeing plenty of the ball in these early moments. Cut in off the, the right wing. It's back with uh, Damke. Now Noor. Denmark holding firm defensively at the moment. And it's 2-1. Noor in space again. And scores his second of the afternoon. Now Denmark look to respond. And Gitzel. Denmark level it up at 2 2. And now they have possession back. Good save, beaten away. And Germany looking to counter, Drucks in space here. That's a really good save by Wolf. Nine saves from 30, a 30% 30 save rate. On Thursday, in Germany's defeat, it would have been heavier had it not been for their goalkeeper. There's Noor, now Drux. Good 
Kowalski leaving it for Goller. Now Hafner. Nor drops. Finds his way through and scores brilliantly. Restores the lead for Germany. Really well taken. Nor the creator. And Drux the finisher. Didn't have too much to aim at, but aimed perfectly. 3 2. And that's a good save. Kirkelocker unable to find a way past Wolf. He's racking up the saves already. Now Nor at the other end for Germany. Poor ball to Drux, though. Coming up and getting involved, it's Hafner. Now Drux. Nor. Nor again, steps away. Well defended by Denmark. There's Drux. Nor. Really lively start from him. Space back again here for Hafner. And it's buried into the corner. 4 2 for Germany. Well, he's one from two on Thursday. Hafner, and he's. On the score sheet again here. <laughs> Sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. Just wondered if there was a deflection off the hand on the way through, but it was the power that got the better of the goalkeeper. And Germany have themselves a two minute suspension here. And Paul Drucks is the player with the two minute suspension. Germany shorthanded for the next couple of minutes as Denmark looked to eat into this 4-2 deficit. Gitzel. Now Lassen. Gitzel. Space here for 4-3. And really well taken by Emil Jakobsen. And Germany's 4-2 lead reduced. Denmark taking advantage of the extra space and the two-minute suspension. Here's Noor. Gola. Now Stutka, who's on at left back. Noor, Stutka again. Stutka. Stepping away. From the challenge, Stutka, well off target with that. Really poor effort. And that's a lovely finish. And Denmark are level. Great vision from Gitzel. Saw the empty net and finished it off, it's 4-4. And Germany's slender advantage wiped out. Two goals in the period of suspension for Drucks. There's Nor. Out to the right wing. Now Stutzka. Nor again. Biding his time, waiting for that space. Oh, and it's fired in beautifully by Stutzka. Five four for Germany. Denmark yet to get themselves ahead in the match. Gitzel. Now Lassen. Gitzel again. Played it out to the left side. 
Now Stutka. Germany looking to increase the lead again. Stutka out to the left wing. And a decent attempt. Well saved by the goalkeeper from Lucas Mertens. Oss off the frame of the goal. Lucas Jorgensen. And the goal still rattling from that. Here's Stutka. Germany get the free throw. Leading by five goals to four. Now Drucks. Nor. Drucks picking out Hafner, who was in space. Hafner cuts in. Beaten away well, though, by the goalkeeper. And now Denmark can counter. Looking for the equaliser. Gidsel. Lovely finish. Arnoldson puts it away. And it's 5-5. Denmark level again. Nor just off target. Went for the low power shot. And now Denmark with the opportunity to get their noses in front, perhaps for the first time. Jakobsen is Lassen. Out to the right wing, in towards Gidsil, who tried to make his way to the line. Blocked off, though. Kirk Lockett. Arnoldson. Gidsel. Now Arnoldson. Coming in the, the left back. Kirk Lockett's efforts blocked away. And now Germany look to counter here with Noor helping it on. Oh, goal is denied. Terrific goalkeeping from Emil Nielsen. And then at the other end. Wolf equal to it again for Germany. It remains at 5 all. Here's Drux. Eleven minutes gone. Germany 5, Denmark 5. Noor. Oh, off the frame of the goal and then back onto the goalkeeper, Nielsen. And now Denmark surely will take the lead. No mistake from Emil Jakobsen. That's his second of the game. And the world champions ahead for the first time. Six goals to five. Germany, remember, were 4-2 up. It's a great throw by Nielsen to set Jakobsen away. Little chance for Andreas Wolf to do anything about it. Jakobsen, who was uh, two from four on Thursday, missed a couple of seven-metre throws. And that's off target. It's a good chance for Kai Hafner. And it was uh, Grutzki who took the shot in the end. Jorgensen, Gidsel. Now Lassen. Arnoldson. Lassen again. Gissel, Arnoldson. Got in each other's way. And a timeout has been called. <laughs> a really intriguing start to the contest. Germany getting their noses in front a few times and then to the tune of 4 2.
we've seen some good goalkeeping at both ends, but Andreas Wolf at it again. Really great reactions to uh, keep that one out with the spin on it. Gidsel, Lassen. Gidsel again out towards Arnoldson. He wrestles his way through and fires it into the corner. Second of the game for Arnoldson. 7-5 for Denmark. And the world champions beginning to show their quality after a bright start from Germany. Here's Noor. Drucks. Noor again out to Hafner. Hafner once more. Now Drucks. Noor. Determined run just really injected the pace into that attack for Germany. Noor back on his feet again. Yuri Noor, such a key player for Germany. He sends it back 129 goals before today. He's added two more. Was a top scorer despite coming off with that thigh injury on Thursday with five goals from 11 attempts. Oh, good goalkeeping. Just about kept his feet. Two from three today so far. Nor there's Drucks. Scored the opening two goals for Germany. The first from the seven meter line. Nor with the touch off again to Hafner. Nor trying to find a way through. Played it into the line though for uh, Goller, who just held his ground. Now Drucks. Germany get the throw again. Noor. Noor out to Hafner. Being manhandled though. Now Drux. Another scrappy passage of play at the moment. No way through for Drucks that time. Hafner. And straight at Nielsen. He looked immediately to launch the counter. It wasn't on, though, in the same vein as it was with Jakobsen a few moments ago. This is Lassen. Now Gidsel. Back from Arnoldson. Lassen again. Kirkelocker buzzing around, heads in towards the line. Arnoldson with the touch back to... Gitzel, and he goes down just as he was about to shoot. And two-minute penalty for Tim Zeckel. He and Paul Drucks, the, uh, the two players who have served two Minute suspension so far. Now Germany conceded twice the last time they were shorthanded. Thomas Arnoldson, who scored seven on Thursday, fires that one in. It is 8 5. And Arnoldson has his third here. International debut on Thursday, scored seven from seven. Perfect shooting from Thomas Arnoldson, the uh, Skanderborg player.
So work to do here for Germany, 8-5 down. What a start to his international career Thomas Arnoldson's made. Seven from seven on Thursdays, three from three here. So 10 from 10 at the start of your international career. Pretty impressive stuff from the uh, Skander ball player. He's 21 years of age. Well, not a seat to be had in this arena. Holds over 13,000. A site we can probably get used to when the Euros come here at the start of next year. It really is a, a beautiful arena. Noor. Noor still in space. And again, Stutka out to the left wing. Back in again for Noor. Still short handed. Remember Germany, so the goal is empty. And Wolf has to quickly dash back on as Denmark get possession with the. Shot off target. Now Vind Rasmussen. Gitzel. Arnoldson. Gitzel. Out to the left wing. And into the back of the net from Jakobsen. And it is 9-5. For Denmark. Jakobsen racks up his third. Emil Jakobsen three from three as well, 100% shooting in there. That's out to the wing, good save again by Nielsen to deny Gritsky. Arnoldson, back from Gidsell. Now Larsen. Arnoldson. Now Wolf making the save, not the power on it to trouble him. And now Noor for Germany as they try and make some inroads into this four goal deficit. Good spin by Noor. Goller couldn't grab the loose ball though in the air. And Denmark have it back with Jakobsen. Stutzka, on by Noor. Stutzka again, that's wide. So Noor, with the ball in hand. Chance to score his third. Second visit to the seven metre line. Same result as the first time from Noor. And it's 9 6. Three from five. He's on 60% at the moment, Noor. His gids out. Back from Arnoldson. Now Lassen. Kerlocker. Oh, straight into the line, but it's a really good piece of goalkeeping to deny Bergholtz. Emil Bergholtz, another newcomer, the line player, the 25 year old. International debut as well for him on Thursday. Denmark using this uh, Euro Cup to get some new blood into the national setup. Larsen with the touch off. Now Gitzel. Space here to finish. And take it expertly by Jakob Larsen. Oh, 
And there's one back for Germany at the other end. Put away by Lukas Stutka. Move again by Wolf. Chance for Germany to have the deficit that was four. Stutka. And then Nor had made the move. He was frustrated that Stutka didn't feed it to him. Stutka again out to Nor. Had a fabulous World Championships, Nor, as Germany made it to the quarterfinals. Stutka gives possession away. 52 goals and 53 assists from Yuri Nor. 105 goal involvements at the World Championships. Voted the best youngster of the tournament. Nor again, who's orchestrating most of the good work that Germany are producing here. Stutka, good finish. Two in quick succession from him. And it's 10-8. We're just over seven minutes to half time. Gitzel out to the wing. And over the top from Oscar Wind. And a chance for Germany here to score three unanswered. Here's Nort. Crowd all getting on their feet here. Get Germany back into this game. Just looked as though the world champions were pulling away at 10-6, but Germany have responded well with those two goals from Stutka, taking him to three for the match. Nor Stutka, it's over the top. And now Denmark looking to counter at the other end, and they do. No mistake from Jakobsen. Who just doesn't seem to miss. Lovely finish from Emil Jakobsen, one of the seven players in this Danish squad who play their club handball in Germany. Plays for Flensburg Handevit. Joined in 2021 from GOG, the Danish club. Got his name on the score sheet in the World Championship final. He's on fire here with four so far for Denmark. Oh, Gola! Quick thinking. Just unable to dink it into the net, though, Gola. Here's Gidsel again for Denmark. And Wolf makes the save. And the... Uh, Foul on Arnoldson. Produces a seven metre throw again for the Danes. That was the challenge on Arnoldson. Well, you just knew the end result, didn't you? Emil Jakobsen tucks that one away. And Denmark's advantage is back to four goals again. performance so far from Emil Jakobsen, five from five. Denmark well up in terms of their efficiency so far in this first half, 52 attack efficiency to 33 for the Germans, and brilliant by Wolf. And Jakobsen is human after all. Terrific goalkeeping by Andreas Wolf. The 32-year-old who plays these days in Poland for Industria Kielce. Left in uh, 2019, the six-foot-six goalkeeper. Good block with the, the right leg. The all-star goalkeeper at the World Championships, Wolf. Stutka, Nor. No way through there for Steiner. Now Nor. Stutka. Strong defending again from the Danes.
No. No. Oh. And just like that, he makes it 12 9. Fourth of the game for Yuri Noor. Talking in the press this week, said there's been a lot of hype around him after the World Championships, but he's keeping his feet very much on the ground. He's only 22, the German centre back. That's a good save again from Wolf. Brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Frustrating Emil Bergholt. Kirk Locker. No, Arnoldson. Arnoldson and Gidsell switching it around. One goes to the centre, one out to the left, and then back again. Kirk Locker. It's Gidsell stepping in this time. Arnoldson. Denmark controlling this game. Three goals of difference. Kirk Locker. And it's 13-9. Kalocka's first goal of the afternoon. And Denmark still keeping Germany at arm's length. Nor Steiner. And Stutka. On by Nor. Out to the left wing and Lucas Mertens. Nor stepping in again. Off to Steinert, into the line, but well defended again by Simon Held. But not so, according to the referee. So a two-minute suspension for Held. And now an opportunity, perhaps for Germany to take advantage. Howell's not happy with the decision, but Denmark shorthanded, leading 13-9. And they will play out the remainder of this half. A man down. Now Denmark have a problem here. Collision with uh, Yannick Kolbacher. There's the incident. I think it was the, the arm across the face from Kolbacher. I'm not sure he was uh, even aware. Well, that's nice to see. Helping Arnoldson back to his feet. Four percent shot efficiency for Denmark to 38 for Germany in this first half. Attack efficiency as well, 20 percent higher. Both two from two from uh, the seven meter line. Germany with 15 misses to the 11 from the Danes, who are being much more efficient where it matters. Kirkalocka. Denmark's goal empty at the moment, remember. They are shorthanded with Simon Held serving a two meter suspension. Oh, what a delightful finish from uh, Emil Bergholtz. And despite being shorthanded, the Danes increase their lead. Well, he's been uh, frustrated a few times in this first half by Andreas Wolf, but not that time. And Gola brings up the 10 for Germany. First goal this afternoon for Germany's line player.
Both teams shorthanded at the moment. Kohlbacker handed that two-minute suspension for the uh, collision with Arnoldson. Saved by Wolf. And that was the final action of the first half. And Aaron Menzing denied by Andreas Wolf. He's been in uh, great form again, the German goalkeeper. But Germany find themselves four down at the break. They started brightly enough. They even had a two-goal advantage at 4-2 at one stage. But at half-time, the world champions lead. It's Germany 10, Denmark 14.
Sven Lautner, der hört euch. Sven, ähm, wie unterscheidet sich, oder was ist der, der Hauptunterschied äh, in dem Handball, den wir so kennen, und eurem Handball? Weil ihr müsst ja ein paar Hindernisse überwinden. Ja, also wir hören ja nichts und deswegen müssen wir äh, Spielzüge im Angriff halt mit Handzeichen anzeigen. Und schwerer ist es in der Abwehr, weil da hört man ja keine Einläufe und da kriegt man ja die Pfiffe der Nebenmann nach Buch. Da muss man halt den Nebenmann antippen oder halt den Einläufer vor dem Mann schieben, dass er ins Blickfeld kommt. Weil, weil du würdest ja was hören jetzt zum Beispiel, aber Hörhilfe wird nicht erlaubt. Ja, nee, die müssen ja rausnehmen, die Hörhilfe. Das ist, damit es bei allen gleich ist, dürfen sie ja keine Hörhilfe haben. Wir fahren jetzt bald zur Weltmeisterschaft. Wo findet die statt und welches Ziel das findet im Juli in Kopenhagen statt und wir wollen wieder ins Finale und da natürlich diesmal gewinnen. Da drücken wir die Daumen für. Vielen, vielen Dank, dass du bei mir warst. Sven Lauter, der Kapitän der gehörlosen Nationalmannschaft. Und das ist doch mal euer Applaus. Vielen Dank, die gehörlosen Nationalmannschaft. Andreas Michelmann von Benjamin auch noch mal zu mir bitte. Und äh, ja, es ist sehr, sehr besonders. Also das Prinzip des Sold Out Awards, das ist ja relativ bekannt äh, in vielen Arenen in Deutschland, aber in der Barclays Arena gibt es was ganz Besonderes. Nicht. Was habt ihr euch einfallen lassen für die ausverkauften Events hier? Ja, wir haben irgendwann beschlossen, dass wir was Nachhaltiges schaffen wollen. Und äh, seit ungefähr vor Pandemiebeginn für jeden Künstlerin, für, jede Künstler, für jeden Künstler oder auch für jede Sportmannschaft, die bei uns spielt, einen Baum. Und welcome back to the Barclays Arena in Hamburg. Das ist jetzt praktisch der Sound. Andreas Wolf, the German goalkeeper. Nine saves from uh, 23 shots, 39 percent. And uh, Emil Nielsen, pretty good as well. Six saves from 16, he's at 38 percent. So both goalkeepers playing their part in this Euro Cup match here this afternoon, which Denmark lead by 14 goals to 10 against Germany. On course for a fourth successive international victory against Germany. Denmark, bearing in mind there's uh, no Pitlick for them today as well. He's missing and the great Mikkel Hansen, who's already scored 11 goals at this Euro Cup, not involved either. Goodness me, there's some quality coming through in this Danish squad. Oscar Wind, Rasmussen has been uh, effective again in this first half. Jakobsen has been outstanding though for the Danes with uh, five goals. Teams out for the second half. Just going through their uh, warm-up routines before the second half gets underway. Both teams ending the first half shorthanded. Denmark really taking advantage of when Germany had been shorthanded, scoring four times during those spells. Alfred Gislassen's side have uh, been outclassed at the moment. Beaten by seven goals in Allborg on Thursday and four down here. Led all the way until falling 6-5 behind in this match. Even had a 4-2 advantage at one point, which was very quickly wiped out by the impressive Danes. Two teams who will be hoping to go a long way in the European Championships at the start of next year and the Germany and Denmark twice previously have been champions of Europe it's over a decade now since Denmark have 
enjoyed the success on the continent that they uh, have on the world stage. There is Emil Jakobsen, five from five in that first half. Really impressive performance from the player who plays for Flensburg Handewitt in the Bundesliga. Top scorer at the EHF European League with 96 goals in the 2021 season. Two from four on Thursday. Did miss two from the uh, seven meter line, Jakobsen, on Thursday. And there's Germany's line player, Johannes Goller, the captain of Germany. Goller, the German handball player of the year. Yuri Nor, four from six, 67%. He's just one goal down on his tally of five on Thursday before his uh, evening was cut short with a thigh injury that they were worried was going to keep him out of action here today, but it didn't ultimately. Just a, a dead leg as it happened. And it will be Denmark to throw off the second half. 14-10 they lead. Here's Hensing. Kirke Locker. Hensing. Into Gidsell. Kirke Locker. Helping it on towards Bergholtz. Hensing. Gidsell. Denmark looking for a Strong start to this second half, but the goal is open. And what a fabulous piece of defending from Kirke Locker. Oh, Zerba can't believe he didn't score that. Well, that's wonderful defending. And now Denmark back to a full complement of players. But Germany score. Yuri Noor with his fifth of the game. And as they did in the first half, it is Germany who opened the scoring at the start of the second. Gitzel. In from Hensing. Gitzel again. Hensing helping it on to Kirke Lucker. Now Gitzel. Hensing. Out to the right wing. And the uh, decision goes the way of Germany. There's Nort. Stutka. Nor. Towards Stutka again. Damke coming in off the left wing. Hafner. Hafner into Noor. Bergholt, the line player, back defending. It's a lovely finish from Hafner. And it is 12-14. Hensing. Strong starts the second half from Germany. Hafner scoring his second of the contest. Two from five. Good finish from there, though, finding the top corner. Leaving Nielsen with no chance. And that one's too high. Uh, the referee pointing to the seven-meter line. Foul while he was in the air shooting. A chance for the Danes to score their first goal of the second half. Emil Jakobsen over this, five from five so far. And make that six from six. 15-12. Jakobsen's sixth of the game.
keeps up his 100% shooting. And that was the foul. The referee, without any hesitation, pointing straight to the seven-meter line. Hafner. And the whistle's gone. Hafner. Off by Noor. Hafner again. Off target by Stutzka. Germany keep the ball with Zerba. Noor. Oh, went for the low finish. Well read, though, by Nielsen. Both goalkeepers with really impressive percentages from the first half. Here's Gidsel. Now Kirka look at one of those who plays in Germany. Kirka look at six foot five, right back, back from Hensing to Gidsel. Hensing, Kirka look at collided with his own player. Germany looking to counter now with Noor. Running straight at the heart of the Danish defence. Yeah, that's been buried. Damka with the finish. And it's 15-13. Trutzka it was actually with the goal. And it brings Germany right back into it, but Denmark respond. Menzing with his first goal. And it's 16-13. Gola wasn't going to pass up that chance. Scored the last goal of the first half. And brings Germany. So within two, Johannes Goller, the captain, takes his international tally to 208. Menzing. Unable to finish that one off, though, Kirk Alucca. Denmark keep the ball, though. Bergholt. Gitzel. Gitzel again out to Kirka Luka. Gitzel. Menzing. Looking for another one. It was a good spin away. Four down at the break, Germany. 4-2 they lead in the second half, taking us back to 16-14, but there's 17 for Denmark. And it's Menzing again. Two successive goals for him for the Danes. Yeah, wrong footing the goalkeeper. Which isn't easy to do given the form that Andreas Wolf is in. Here's Nor. Hafner. Nor again steps away from Bergholt. Hafner. Nor. Held up by Simon Held. Seven and a half minutes gone in the second half. Germany 14, Denmark 17. Hafner. Needed a strong start to this second half, Germany. Otherwise, Denmark were going to get away from them with that four-goal advantage at half-time. Nielsen. Menzing out by Gidsel. And out to the right wing. But Germany have it. Here's Noor. Hafner. Noor. Hafner. Seeing a lot of ball down this right side of Germany. That was the foul. Saw Germany get possession of the ball. 
Hafner. Stepping away from a couple of challenges, Noor again. Back from Hafner, Noor trying to find a way through, and a mishandle, sees Denmark break away, and a great chance to make it 18, which is clinically taken by Vind. And try as they might, Germany just cannot consistently eat into this four-goal deficit. Pulled it back to 16-14, but it's 18-14 again now. And again, a second successive mishandle. Vin looks to break. Kitzel! It's a brilliant save by Wolf. Fantastic goalkeeping. Because that really should have been a five-goal lead for the Danes. Here's Nort. Clever ball through to the line, and then it's wide. Now Tim Zeckel unable to finish it off. And that will frustrate Germany, especially after that Wolf save handed them possession and the chance to counter. Denmark still lead by four and have the ball. Gidsell, Menzing, Gidsell, thought about the shot, changed his mind. Menzing, Gidsell. Yet to get his name on the score sheet. Matthias Gidsell, he's seen a lot of the ball, he's the been the playmaker really for Denmark this afternoon. Zero from one. Kirk Looker back from Menzing. Gidsell. Injects a bit of pace into it. And now does score. Haven't seen that from him. He's been setting everybody else up, but. Gidsell has himself a goal, one from two now for him. And Denmark do have a five-goal lead. Really good finish, spotted the goalkeeper taking a step forward and threw it low around his ankles, leaving him little chance to get down to it. Stutzka. Marian Mikulczyk has come into the action now for Germany. Here he is. Touch off for Hafner. And that's well defended. Mikulczyk, a uh, centre-back from Hanover, 26-year-old. He was uh, a late call-up to the squad to replace Luka Witzer. And he pulled out with an injury. Oh, it's a good effort off the crossbar. So unlucky. Could easily have gone back in off Nielsen. Kirk Alucca. Twelve minutes gone in the second half. Denmark have... Increase their half-time lead by one to lead 19-14. Both there again, though. Now Mikulczyk. Played out to Hafner. No way through there, though, for the German right-back, who's had a really lively game. There's uh, Kai Hafner. Right-back with over 300 international goals, 300 and 12 before today, he's added two more. Let's take him to 3.14. Mikulczyk, Hafner. Straight at Nielsen. He comfortably gathered that in the end, and Gidsell releases Denmark on the counter with Kirk Alucca. Gidsell. Into the side netting, but 
Denmark keep the ball. Bergholt. Now Kirkalucker. Menzing. Denmark comfortable in this match at the moment. Good sell. Jakobsen. Just hugging that left wing position. No way through for Gidsell. Does get the foul though. Gidsell. Oh, good save by Wolf. Bergholt went for the low spinny finish. Wolf read it. Now Mikkeljak. Counter not exactly coming off for Germany, but they still have it. Hafner into Goller. He lost his footing. Now Zerba. There's the foul on. Well, that's Berghold at the other end. A great attempt. And Wolf read what it was going to do. Straight to Gidsell, the goal is open, and that's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic finish. And the empty goal, costing Germany. As Denmark increase the lead. Hafner, Noor. Played back in by Drux towards Noor. Denmark really showing their quality here this afternoon. One by seven on Thursday, leading by six now. And then Goller fouled. Nielsen thought he'd made the save, but it's a seven metre throw for Germany. Clever little ball through to Goller from Nort. And Goller did brilliantly, not only to retrieve the ball, but then to draw the foul as well. Nort against Nielsen. Got something on it, but Nort scores. And it's 15-20, sixth of the game for Nort. Menzing. And timeout's been called. As we see, Nor putting away his sixth goal of the game. His first from seven metres. So 2015, Nikolai Jakobsen, the Danish coach, calling the timeout. Knows all about German handball, of course. He coached Ryan Necker to two Bundesliga titles in 2016 and 2017. Won three Bundesliga titles as a player with Kiel. And now his Danish side less than a quarter of an hour away from completing a double over Germany in the space of four days. And there's another one. It's 21. And Menzing on target for the third time in this second half. Really stepped to the fore since the break, Menzing. Nor Hafner. Goller and Kohlbacker trying to 
Both hold the line. Find a bit of space for somebody to come through his nor. Two line players out there. Germany at the moment. That's given away by Nor. And here's Jakobsen. Gidsel. 13 minutes to go. Germany 15. Denmark 21. Nor and Jakobsen, the standout players for both sides, both with six each. Jakobsen is six from six, Nor six from ten. So he's been the livelier player. Nor Jakobsen, the more efficient though. Menzing. Puts it back again from Kirkalucka. And what a finish. Well, he is on fire in this second half. His fourth goal since half time for uh, Hans Aaron Menzing. Plays for Flensburg Handewitt in Germany. Three from seven on Thursday, Menzing. What a second half he's produced here. Four from five in the game. All four goals coming since the break. Here's Noor. Kohlbacher and Goller still both out there for Germany. The two line players are oh, a terrific interception from Gidsell, who's not going to miss that. And it is all falling horribly apart here for Germany. Twenty-three, fifteen, an eight-goal lead for Denmark. And Gidsell scores his third of the game, all of them in the second half. He'd only attempted one shot at goal before he scored his first goal of the game, Gidsell. Twice he's fired it into the empty net in very different ways. The first was the full length of the court, the second a clear break. He's three from five now, Matthias Gidsell. And Germany have called a timeout. Trailing by eight. Now the efficiency of these two teams is the big difference. There's that Gidsell goal again. <laughs> Seen a couple of those today from the Danes. And their goalkeeper, Nielsen, getting on the score sheet in the, the first half in similar fashion to Gidsell. No way through there for Mikuljic. Well, 10 minutes for Germany to try and bring a bit of respectability to the scoreline. 23-15, they trail an eight-goal deficit. That would equal the, uh, the biggest margin of victory Denmark beat the Germans 11-3 back in 1938. That eight-goal deficit is their biggest ever win. It was seven, remember, on Thursday. 30 goals to 23. Denmark now leading by eight. And in modern times, it would be the biggest margin of victory. It's a poor effort from Marian Mikuljic. Now Jakobsen. Gidsell. 
to Lassen. Ginsel again. Now Menzing. Been so comfortable, the Danes. Spell at the start of the second half, as there was in the first, where Germany threatened. And as each half wore on, the Danes have shown their quality. Gets out, Menzing, out to the left wing. And a neat little attempt from uh, Magnus Landin, but just couldn't get the spin on the ball. Quiet day from uh, Landin, really. International scored 222 goals. Gidsell's been so lively for Denmark. Another of the Bundesliga contingent. Gidsell for Fuchser Berlin. The MVP at the 2023 World Championships, Matthias Gidsell, and he's continuing that form. Remember, Mikkel Hansen and Simon Pitlick not in this squad. For Denmark, it's frightening. Really good save from Wolf. And now the counter for Strutzka. And it's into the corner. Really well taken. And there's the save as well. Eight minutes to go. 16-23, thanks to Damka's goal. Nicely into the corner from Runa Damka. 94th international goal for him. And run from Drux, set up the chance. It's a good save, though, to deny Stutzka. Good goalkeeping from Simon Garda, who's gone in goal now for Denmark. Made his international debut with five saves from ten on Thursday, a 50% save efficiency for the... Danish goalkeeper. And that's number 24. Kirke Lockett scoring that one. And the deficit back to eight for Germany. Hafner. Here's Gola. Hafner. Drugs. Gets it back from Stutzka. Now Drux again. Really well played. 17 to 24, Paul Drux. Scored early in the first half. It's his second of the game, Drux. Two from three. Gidsel. Well, even then, when they misplace a pass, they're not giving the ball away, Denmark. Menzing. Into the line, into the net from Bergholt. And it's 25 17 for Denmark. Danes really enjoying life here. In Hamburg, Burkholt two from five. Hafner, Drux, Hafner into the top corner. It was lovely play, a lovely move, and a fine finish from Hafner. Big space for him to step into, and then throwing the ball past Simon Garda. Three from seven, Hafner, this afternoon. 
43% in front of goal. Almost opened up that time for Arnoldson. Arnoldson again. Back from Lassen. Larson stepping into the centre, heading towards the line and finds the net. And it's 26-18. Jakob Larson, two from two on Thursday. And two from three this afternoon here in Hamburg. Tough watch for the German fans and Alfred Gislassen. And that's a good save from Gadda to deny Drucks. As Denmark look to increase the lead further. 26-18 they lead. Menzing. Now Lassen. It's another one. Kirkelocke putting that one away for 27. Held up well by Lassen. And Kirkelocker scores his third of the afternoon. Three from seven. And Denmark enjoying themselves. They have a nine goal advantage. If that was to remain, it would be Denmark's biggest ever win against Germany. Hafner. And that is tough to take for the Germans, having lost by seven, but they are facing a fourth successive defeat to Denmark and a fourth successive loss in. The Euro Cup. Two games remaining after today, only four points available. A win here for Denmark would see the move on to six level with Sweden, who plays Spain later. Here's Hafner. And let's not forget the final round Denmark against Sweden in Herning. On the 29th of April, that could be the decider. Hafner. Denmark, of course, would have to win that by more than two goals to get above Sweden on the head-to-head -head if they both keep winning. Oh, it's a lovely goal from Yuri Noor. Well, he's kept up his end of the bargain this afternoon. Yuri Noor, great performance. That's goal number seven for him. Seven from 11 for Yuri Noor, the 22-year-old centre-back who is blossoming into a real-world star. Arnoldson. Oh, wrong-footed the goalkeeper, Larsen. It's 28 to 19. And Germany rack up their 20th goal. Little pass from Drux and then Noor getting the better of Garda for his eighth goal. Top scorer in the game. Jakobsen still stuck on six as he was right at the start of this second half but hasn't seen much court time in fairness since Denmark took firm control of the match 28-20 Arnoldson into the final minute remember an eight goal win back in 1938 the biggest margin of victory Denmark have had against Germany it's eight goals at the moment but Lassen looking to make it nine Wolf with the save And now Germany with a chance to reduce the deficit further. It's great goalkeeping again by Wolf. He's played really well again, the German goalkeeper. And it's 21 28, number nine for Noor. So another win for Denmark. Noor may have had the final say 
with uh, a couple of late goals to keep the score down to seven goals as it was on Thursday. But it's four straight defeats for Germany now in this competition. Denmark beat them again by seven. The world champions move level with Sweden at the top. They've won here by 